everyone, Ryan here with creating a website guide.com. Uh, we just got done establishing and creating our own email addresses at uh, our own domains. So we did that on the Bluehost uh, control panel. It's really simple to do. So uh, as an example, I created mine. It's Ryan at GreenBayLawnMowing.com. I mentioned at the end of that video that we're going to uh, be able to hook that up with other you know, email clients that are a lot more powerful. Um, Bluehost does a great, a great job of hooking it up to your domain name, but they don't create you know, the best email software. So what we're going to do is link the two up so you can easily check your mail with Gmail. So if you're not familiar with Gmail, uh, it's Google's product for email. This is what I use a lot. Really big, uh, really big fan. Very easy to use, and I hope you like it too. So, uh, we're at the Gmail page here. It's just Google.com/mail. So, actually, we're not here. Let's go to not just regular accounts here. Sorry about that. We go to Google.com/mail. That's better. Okay. Uh, on the top right here, if you don't have an account, you can just create one, and I'm gonna do that here just for um, this. Uh, <clears throat> this business. So we'll do Ryan, last name Schmitz, and I'm just going to use the business name at gmail.com. So it's just going to be Green Bay Lawn Mowing at gmail.com. Check availability. Not surprised, it's available. We'll create a password here. Okay. Okay. Uh, this all works for me. Uh, security question. You know, I'm going to just. I'll just blank this out because as much as I like you guys, uh, you know, I'm not going to let you have that question. So let's do this real quick. Okay, almost done with this. Uh, they're going to ask for a recovery email. You should have just another email address that um, you have linked um, just in case you lose your, your email. Uh, login information um, and you want it back they need an email address to send it to so uh, another email address you may have would be appropriate there so location I'm in the United States birthday I'm gonna do I'm also gonna block this one out okay and word verification like always they want a word verification here okay read really fast apparently so I'm going to accept and create my account here hmm. apparently I entered the wrong the wrong uh, text graphic probably on the bottom here yep sometimes these are hard to read so let's see here I L I S K okay should work this time hopefully knock on wood okay so now I have a Gmail account. Very easy to set up. You can do it in a minute. You can probably do it even quicker than I just did there. So uh, let's go to show me my account. Okay. All right. So this is just Gmail. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's pretty easy just to play around with. Um, I'm not going to get into you know anything too complicated here. All I'm going to show you real quick is how to forward or actually send mail uh, as from your Gmail account as your domain name that you created. So basically, I want to be able to send mail from this Gmail account under the the email address Ryan at GreenBayLawnMowing.com. So that allows you to use Gmail. Uh, to check your email and then also to create and reply to mail while looking professional and not having to log into your Bluehost account. So in order to do that we're going to go under account settings right here. Alright so now we're under account settings and we're just going to scroll down a little bit and under Gmail we're going to go under Gmail settings and we've got all different options here so um, on the top here all you're going to want to do is go to accounts and import okay Let's see and then send mail as right here 
we're going to go out to add another email address you own. Okay, and I'm just going to enter the email address. You know, this should be the one that you just created on Bluehost. Green Bay Lawn Mowing. Dot com is my extension. So next step. Okay. It just says when you send mail as Ryan at GreenBayLawnMowing.com, the mail can either be sent through Gmail or through Green Bay Lawnmowing SMTP servers. So let's just do send through Gmail. It's easier. Okay, we need to verify that you own the email address. This makes sense. So they're gonna send us a verification email. So we're just gonna send a verification email to the email address we created. So how do we go about checking that? Well, we're going to go back to our Bluehost control panel. Okay, And uh, if you need to re-log in, just go to bluehost.com, log in, and then you'll be on the control panel like I am right now. Scroll down to where we created our email account. And go into email accounts here. And then scroll down, and I'm looking for the Ryan at GreenBayLawnMowing.com email address. And under More, go to Access Webmail. Okay. Put in your password that you created just a little while ago when you created the account. Okay. All right. So there's going to be a couple different options. Uh, there's Hoard, Round Cube, Squirrel Mail. Uh, personally, I just use Hoard. Uh, it doesn't really necessarily matter. Um, this is just the different different mail clients that Bluehost offers. So if you just want to follow on follow along, rather just uh, use Hoard as well. We're going to log in in English. I'm assuming if you're listening to me talk, you speak English as well. So. All right, so now we're in Hoard, um, which is uh, one of the Bluehost email clients. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, a little outdated, not nearly as user-friendly as Gmail, which is why we're doing this whole thing in the first place. So um, let's go under Mail. I only have one piece of mail. And sure enough, it is the Gmail confirmation that we just sent from Gmail. So we're going to go in here and, um, OK. We can either take this confirmation code, copy and paste it, or we can just click on this link down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the link down here. And I may now send mail as ryan at greenbaylawnmowing.com from my Gmail account. So pretty cool, huh? So let's, uh, let's test this out real quick. Let's go to compose mail when we're in our Gmail account here. So I'm still logged in as greenbaylawnmowing at gmail.com. Okay, now it showed up. It just took a second to load. So now, so now we're going to see an option on, on the front tab here. So we have options. I can send mail as greenbaylawnmowing at gmail.com, or I can send mail that goes ryan at greenbaylawnmowing.com. So when I send mail, I want to look professional. So I want Ryan at GreenBayLawnMowing.com. So if I send something uh, to somebody else, uh, this is going to be the option. So whenever you compose mail, you can do that. And uh, Gmail is pretty good. When you, you get an email, you're going to reply under the same email address as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, at this point, you should set up your, your Gmail account. Uh, if you plan on using that, it's absolutely free. Um, review this video to see how I did that. Um, and then you can hook up your professional looking email address to this so you can just use Gmail um, as a place to collect and send out all your emails. So any questions or comments leave them below. Um, thanks for stopping by. This is Ryan again with uh, creating a website guide.com.